Hi all, hope your week's been okay. Today I'm just going to do a simple video how to uh, set up a tattoo machine. Now I don't pretend to be any expert because obviously I, I haven't tattooed anyone myself but this is just a simple video what I found out myself and uh, obviously how I set up my machine when I'm doing my practicing. So I've got all my bits set out here, tattoo machine, uh, tip, tube, grip, I got my um, obviously my elastic band, I got my grommet or my nipple which will go into the eye of the needle to pop onto the armature bar, I got my allen key and I got a very fine point round liner needle as you can see there, it's one of the finest ones you can get. So just show you how to set it up here, um, as you can see I've got a coil machine, now this is one of your more old school tattoo machines, what I prefer using. You can get all different types of ones, you get rotary machines and that, but these are very simple, very good machines to use. This is just a cheap one, hopefully I will get myself some better ones, hopefully sometime soon. Now this is a liner machine, how do you tell that's a liner? Um, as you can see here, with the bar pin here, is a lot further back. If this was a shader, it would be a lot further forward, um, which gives you a bit less vibration, which obviously means you can get a nice shade, because the liner runs a lot faster. So. To set it up, all you need to do is grab the grip and the tube, slide the tube there into the grip, tighten that up. Then grab the tip, put that into the grip there, tighten that up. Grab your needle, as you can see it's a very fine point tip for the, because it's obviously a very fine point liner. Grab your needle. You need to put a very slight bend in the needle, which helps it stop jumping off the armature bar, plus it makes it a lot better when you're tattooing. Pop that all through. Now be very careful when you're popping it through, because the last thing you want to do is bend the needle. And then pop that through there. I grab the machine here, pop that through the frame, and through up into there. Now as you can see at the moment, I've got my tube sitting too high. So I'm going to loosen that off a second and I'm going to pop that a bit further down and then tighten that back up. Now what I do then, grab the grommet, I normally slide the grommet through the eye because I find it's a lot, uh, a lot easier to get it onto the armature bar. Pop that through there so you've got enough slack and then pop that onto the armature bar like so, and then as you can see here, you don't want too much um, of the needle sticking out, so I'm just going to run that down a bit, and then, so obviously you don't want it, if you were obviously tattooing, so tattooing someone, you don't want it popping through the skin obviously too far, especially when you're going so from some fine places, because uh, you don't want to hurt the person or cause any damage, so what I'm going to do now, just tighten up the machine, the frame, make sure all these are nice and tight and then one of the main things you definitely got to do to stop the uh, needle popping off the armature bar, it's the last thing you want to do when you're tattooing someone, is grab obviously your uh, elastic band, what I normally do, I don't, don't like to put too many elastic bands on because that I find that can be bit strain on the needle, which is no good when you're uh, using it. I grab the elastic band, I wrap it around twice, and then that I find is plenty of strain on the needle to keep it on and keep it on the armature bar so it doesn't pop off. And I've used this quite a lot of times and it doesn't pop off. And that's literally it. Obviously, I haven't changed any of the settings on the machine or tuned it. Um, I'll try and go through that in another video. So that's your machine all set up, as you see, nice and simple, it's not too hard to set the machine up, um, it does look complicated with all the different bits, but you can get obviously, as I said, different machines, you can get some where you literally, all this is in one, and you just pop it on, which obviously makes it a lot easier, but I, I prefer to use the old school machines, so that's a nice simple video there, how to set the machine up, um, hopefully I'll be getting a lot more videos over the next couple of weeks, 
obviously tattooing on melons or so. I did try to get a hold of pig skin because pig skin is about the closest thing to real skin to uh, learn tattooing. But I haven't been able to get a hold of that yet. Hopefully I will do sometime soon. So I hope you enjoyed that video today. If you have, please give it a like. And if you haven't obviously followed me, please do. And I shall see you all soon. Thank you. Ta-ra.